Welcome back you guys. Tonight we're going to be working on a Glock 30. Now this is a pretty advanced cut build that we're going to be doing here. Um, we're not actually going to be doing a lot of work to the slide, but the work that we're going to be performing uh, is pretty advanced. It's pretty intensive as far as the way in which the, uh, the pattern lays. So let's briefly discuss exactly what we're going to be doing to give you a better understanding of what you're watching as it unfolds. First thing I want to do is remove the factory text off what would be the left hand side. Now traditionally we come down through here, we go to the left, we shave that down. That's not what we're going to be doing today. Um, we're not going to be doing any top work, we're not going to be doing any back work, so we're going to just be utilizing the CNC and uh, basically working in just the text zones going forward. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a pattern that's going to go pretty much like this. And it's gonna go all the way down the entire side and it's gonna shave that all off, okay? So we're gonna have like a little bit of a, kind of like a backward uh, V here, or a backward angle here. And that's gonna shave that all off. Once that's done, we're gonna come back through here and we're gonna end up running a deeper pattern in these zones. Try to draw these out the best I can for you guys. So what we're gonna do is these zones are gonna end up having a step down in them. So these will end up being like serration zones, okay? And of course, there's a small one up here. And then inside of these serration zones that we've, that we've created, we're gonna have a, a step down that's gonna go inside of there. So there's gonna be two in the back that's gonna have a step down. And then in the front, we're actually gonna have a pocket, a pocket, and then there'll be a, an actual pocket up through here as well. So it's kind of difficult to describe exactly the work that's gonna be performing today. There happens to be a lot of steps over top of itself. So basically, we've got like a cleanup step, we've got like a serration step, we've got like a port step. So there happens to be a lot of things that are um, layered over top of uh, each layer. Um, so, you know, visibly looking down at it, it's, it's kind of difficult to tell exactly what's going on. So guys, let's get over to the uh, Tormach 770. Let's get the cut work done. And then we have a little bit of laser engraving that we're gonna be doing on the barrel. Then we're gonna be doing some coloring. We'll go ahead and get everything kind of wrapped up. We'll bring it back. We'll take a look and see exactly how it came out. Let's take a look and see exactly how this came out in the end. I am very pleased with it overall. Nice design. We're able to see some barrel now. We had to uh, be a little choosy and picky on the way in which we uh, opened up the side of the slide because this is a 45 ACP, because it happens to be a little bit shorter. We're not working with quite as much material as, let's say, maybe like a 21. So we had to be a little bit more careful on exactly uh, the options and uh, what we did, those choices, I guess I should say, that we made. So we're able to see some nice barrel up through here, okay? And then, of course, we extended it a little bit further on what would be the left-hand side up into where the ejection side is here. So we get a little bit more coverage over here. We end up losing that Austria because the Austria is about from here to here. So it's real nice. We end up lo 
losing a lot of that uh, writing that's on there. Just gives you that a little bit better, cleaner image overall. And then of course we did some barrel work. So let's take a look at the barrel. Went ahead and added some Roman numerals on the top of it. We added some stuff to what would be the ejection side of it. Let's go ahead and put that in. We'll see exactly how it looks together. Really, really nice, guys. So we didn't end up touching what would be the factory serial number or the top writing on the barrel. We left those alone. I don't know what's going to be going on with the coating. So I don't know if the, the customer is going to send it out and have it gold coated or if he's going to polish it. I'm not 100% sure. This is kind of where it ends for me as far as the work goes. Um, so we're not 100% we're not sure what we're going to see there. And that's why I encourage you guys to follow us over on our Instagram because uh, usually the customers will send me some pictures and then I have the opportunity to... Um, you know, upload those, tag that person in it. You can ask those questions to the person that owns it. You have the ability to see that as a final product, how it came out, um, and what their vision was. Because sometimes they have stippled frames, sometimes they have different colored frames, they're not just black. So there's definitely an opportunity to see a completed project through our Instagram page. So definitely um, check us out over there. And of course, we have new, uh, new pictures that are being posted all the time on our web page, and they're also tagged on our Facebook page. So we happen to have a lot of new stuff that's over there as well. Um, we have a new logo that we have so you're going to start to see that pop up quite a bit more um, i'm not 100 sure we're going to run that on the guns we're still working on the, the final details on that but you're definitely going to be seeing the logo on different things um, that happened to be one of the reasons why we ended up making a logo that wasn't necessarily uh firearm driven because we're even though we do um 95 firearms as you guys see it comes out being that we uh, we end up doing a lot of other things that you guys don't see, and we're also trying to get into some other markets that we're, are, that we're, that we're kind of just not in right now, so to speak. So uh, we want to go with some kind of a, a logo that happened to be something uh, more, uh, I'm not going to say generic, but more an overall uh, image instead of just a specific image in the event that we uh, change the direction of this business over the course of time. So we didn't want to have a gun on there or something like that, and then all of a sudden we're not really doing guns anymore, and it doesn't make any sense. So uh, we chose something that made a little bit more sense. It was just a little bit more of a logical move overall. All right, guys. One of the things we don't really talk about all that often is the repeatability, consistency, and overall finish of the Tormach. Now, we're not going to go into it really great here. Uh, we do have a one year coming up on the machine. We are going to do a video about the likes and the dislikes, you know, kind of the things that maybe are the gotchas overall with the machine, uh, the things that really don't fit. Uh, our work type of what we're doing. I know there's a lot of people that happen to watch the channel because they're firearm people. They happen to have a small business and they happen to uh, they happen to be looking at machines that might work for them. So we are going to talk about the positives. We are going to talk about some of the negatives, about some of the things that it just doesn't do for us. Um, so that these are things that we can take into consideration when we're talking about uh, looking at a machine. You know what I mean? Because we are going to talk about things about upgrading machine. We are going to talk about whether we're going to be going with another Tormach or whether we're going to skip skip it and go right straight to a Haas. We happen to have a lot of opportunity here over the next several months. Um, we're waiting on some things. So guys, don't miss that video. There happens to be a lot of good content in that video. Um, it's just, you know, you're, you're basically hearing it from a user. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm dedicated to the machine. I use the machine daily. I run this thing hours on end, Monday through Friday. And uh, I hope to give you guys some input on some stuff that maybe you haven't taken into consideration. Hopefully give you guys just an overall, um, my thoughts on it. You know, everybody happens to have an opinion. And um, since I seem to do a lot of firearm work, I would like to give you mine. So definitely going to be a good video. Um, like I said, we're not quite at the year mark yet, but we're getting close. And we're getting down to uh, decision making time on a new machine. So it seems like... Um, Seems like that's going to probably come out pretty quick. So you're definitely going to want to subscribe to us if you haven't already. You're going to want to get that notification uh, section turned on so that way when those videos do come out, you have the ability to uh, watch them, learn, listen, follow along, and definitely comment. If you happen to have something to say, you're eager, you're interested about something, leave it in the comment section below. I'm always interested in hearing uh, what you guys have to say about it, whether it's uh, you would have gone a different direction, whether uh, you just have an idea about something, maybe it's a cost or something associated, maybe you just can't get a hold of me. Um, so definitely go fill out a comment in the bottom of our comment section on any of our videos. We definitely review those. I try to hit you guys back as quick as I can. Feel free to go to the webpage. We do have a contacts tab. You can go on there. You can actually uh, send us your exact um, project that you have right from there, and then we'll uh, we'll get you that quote turned out. We'll get you a turnaround time figured out, and we'll, um, we'll get your ball rolling on your project. But guys, stay tuned. We have some very crazy projects coming up. Um, the next project that, that's going to be released, this is just a little bit of info for you guys, is 
probably the most wildest build I've ever done to date off the beaten path of something that you are uh, definitely not going to see coming. So it's, uh, it's definitely going to be a very, very interesting build overall. Um, it should be out very, very soon. And it's very advanced work for what it is. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be some very very crazy design stuff. So, guys, you can catch me on the next one.